On this episode of the Globe News Report, the push for a resolution to housing issues continues on the campus of Goshen College. The Latino community is celebrated with a communications and media banquet featuring special guest speakers with a message for those trying to make it in the industry. And Globe News takes our interview segment to downtown Goshen to sit in a barber chair with a unique business that's turning heads and picking up awards. All that and more is coming up on the Globe News Report. Welcome to this week's episode of the Globe News Report. My name is Megan Godzis. And I'm Mackenzie Miller. We've got plenty to look forward to in today's show as the semester winds down. It's crazy to think, but we're almost wrapped up with this season of the News Report. That's right. We're both first-time hosts, but stay tuned. In two weeks for the final episode, we'll have the seniors leading the way as they wrap up their college careers. We're now following a developing story that dates back to the spring of 2023 regarding the housing situation on campus. Similar to last year, a number of students have been waitlisted for the Octavio Romero apartments designated specifically for juniors and seniors. Last year, a total of 33 students were waitlisted. This year, that number has jumped to 47. This leaves juniors and seniors with potentially less appealing options during housing selection night, just as it's staying in on-campus intentional living communities, the Culp Dormitory, or underclassmen housing. Students speaking out about being waitlisted. I really think seniors that have been here three years uh, everyone knows that they want to live in an apartment and not being able to get it is kind of frustrating. Definitely an interesting situation to follow. As someone who lived in Culp, I never tried to get into the apartments, but definitely had many friends who were unable to get into an apartment themselves. Coming up, we take a look at a new event that Goshen College hosted centering on Latinos in the field of communications. Stay tuned on the Globe News Report. dream of a place to belong, to begin your journey, and to believe in something bigger than yourself. A place where you aren't lost in the crowd, but are part of the team. Communication professionals are in high demand, and Goshen College will give you the tools and hands-on experience to transform your passions into a rewarding career. Begin your career in journalism and be an agent of change at the best college newspaper in the state of Indiana, The Record. Begin a filmmaking career with Five Core Media and work on Emmy-winning productions that propel graduates to Hollywood and beyond. And take our semester in LA program to get a jump start in the industry. Begin your career as a public relations major, one of the fastest growing professions in the country. Begin a rewarding broadcasting career on the air at 91.1 The Globe, the best college radio station in the nation. Be a DJ, host TV shows, and broadcast live sports. Believe in yourself and make it possible at Goshen College. Welcome back to the Globe News Report. Last Thursday, I had the chance to attend Nuestras Historias, a first-time event on the campus of Goshen College. I was able to attend as well, and there was some wonderful food, great music from local artists, and so much more. I have to say, I will never pass on the opportunity to see potential novelty live, and everyone really loved the Ecosystem of Mariachi Band. Most importantly, this special event was created to help celebrate the rich history and growth of the Latino community currently happening in the area. Eduardo Alvarez Barrera has more. A sense of community and pride filled the Fellowship Hall in the Goshen College Church Chapel on Thursday as Latinos from around the community came together for Nuestras Historias, Our Stories. This was a first-time event meant to recognize Latinos in media and communications. More Latinos going into communications, I think, is it's ultimately going to be a wonderful thing in a variety of different ways. Goshen College students were among the many represented during Thursday's panel, sharing their perspectives as students in the world of media. Pedro Guerrero, the main speaker, shared words of wisdom with the audience and says hard work is one of the most important keys to the industry of communications. In a field like communications, Latino or not, what's important are two effective skills, speaking in public, which is something that terrifies everyone, um, and effective writing. One of Thursday's panelists, Vanessa Padilla, is getting her master's in fashion journalism and is excited to achieve her goals as a Latina in the field. Confidence is everything going into an industry and especially in journalism. You have to believe it. Even if you have to fake it, you have to believe it. Guerrero says Latinos bring a lot to the table that other communication professionals may not. Many of us are bicultural or bilingual, um, which I think positions us to be able to understand 
and connect with people that may have opposing views or that come from different perspectives. A final word of advice for young Latinos in the Goshen community. Don't be afraid to shine in the world of communication, in the world of journalism. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Eduardo Alvarez Barrera. We're told that the event went extremely well and got great reviews from the community. That's right. It's great to see Goshen College supporting the Latino community, especially in the field of communications. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning, and small personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu/slash visit. Now let's turn our attention to the Globe community calendar. If you have a knack for spelling, Goshen Brewing Company and Goshen Public Library have paired up to host the first ever Grown Up Spelling Bee, which takes place on Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Participants must be 18 or older. You can compete individually or in a group of up to three people. Registration information can be found at goshenpl.org. This weekend, Ghost Martial Arts is hosting a parents' night out on Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. The event is open to children ages 5 and older and will feature an obstacle course, martial arts, games, dodgeball, and more. More information is available on their Facebook page at GHXST Martial Arts. Looking at the local music scene, Mike Struin will be taking the stage at the Oasis from 6 to 9 p.m. on Saturday. Struin is known for combining multiple genres in his musical work, notably alt-country, blues, folk, soul, and reggae. More info can be found at the o.bar. And finally, the GC Symphony Orchestra will be hosting their spring concert on Sunday in the Saturn Concert Hall on the camp campus of Goshen College. The concert begins at 7.30. Ticket information can be found at goshen.edu slash tickets. After the break, Colin Eccles takes us out of the studio to the 2024 Goshen News Best of the Best Barbershop. That's next on the Globe News Report. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe News Report. We now have a sit down with Sean Brawley, owner of Brawley's Barber Den. Colin Eccles has the details and the fresh cut. If you're looking for your next haircut in Goshen and you want an authentic barbershop experience so you don't look like this anymore, what better place to do it than the Goshen News 2024 Best of the Best Barbershop, Brawley's Barber Den. Let's take a look. So now we're down in the basement of Brawley's Barber Den with owner and head barber, Sean Brawley. Sean, first and foremost, thanks so much for having us down here. It's a cool change of pace for us to get out of the studio a little bit and do an interview uh, in a good setting while I'm getting my hair cut, which is a bonus too. Absolutely. Two birds, one stone. I like it. Exactly. Glad to have you guys down here. Thanks for coming and checking it out. So let's start off with uh, kind of the basics. Give me some background. What got you into hair and, and made you want to become a barber? Oh, well, a couple of different reasons on uh, why I got into barbering. You know, I started out in the Marine Corps. I was just, you know, shaving my own head down, trying to save a buck. And then I got buddies who were unable to make it to the barber on Sunday. So they come knocking at my door, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, looking to get buzzed down get, uh, just so they didn't get in trouble. So I started off with buzz cuts mainly. Um, but then, you know, I started getting on YouTube and looking up how to do fades and things like that and you know I just kind of did it for just to help myself and uh, my buddies out at first and then I got out of the Marine Corps and I bounced around a bunch of different jobs and you know what I just I just hated all of them I wasn't happy I wasn't working with my hands I wasn't being creative and I wasn't allowed to be myself it seemed like so you know it didn't consider it as a career option but after I was you know working in corporate world and realized how miserable I was I was like you know what time for a change so I uh Quit my job and became a barber. Went off to barber school and uh, 
The rest is history. I fell in love with it. This is uh, where I needed to be. You came from Denver to Goshen. Obviously, that's a very big change of pace. Oh, Denver, yeah. big city, Goshen, uh, small town. When you got here, what was the acceptance like for you? How did everybody react? And, uh, you know, how did you work your way kind of into the community, getting to know other business o owners and uh, other local barbers? When I first came here, um, everybody seemed very friendly and very neighborly, you know, and uh, that was awesome. That was so great, you know, coming from Denver and big city, everybody's looking out for themselves mm -hmm. all the time, and small business is, is kind of a thing there, but not like it is with the small community, you know? So, you know, my wife, she's been a part of this community, you know, her whole life for the most part. Um, she was born and raised here, so I had a lot of, you know, already founded connections through my, through my in-laws and everything, so that made things, you know, helped out a little bit, but... Uh, I don't know. I just tried to genuinely be myself, and uh, uh, it seems like the community of Goshen really seems to, to like what I'm offering over here. So it's been really great, and the community's really taken a like into this shop, and that makes me very happy. When I first started coming, it was just you down here cutting hair. You've expanded. You've got a second barber in the shop now. Absolutely. As a business owner, what's that like to kind of sit back and uh, and recognize, like, wow, I've got so much clientele that... You know, I can't keep up with it on my own anymore. I've got to add people to help me, uh, to help me staff and keep up with the the day to day need. Oh, it's uh, it fills my heart, you know, uh, just to know that this community has come out and supported me so much and like that what I've provided here so much so that I need, I need help. You know, there was a time there, yeah, I was down here by myself and I was getting burnt out. I was getting burnt out real quick, and uh, I needed I needed some help and. Uh, you know, Edgar over here, he's, uh, he's been a great addition to the shop here, and he's really uh, helped me out a lot and has really um, carried the torch on with uh, not only just, like, the shop standards, but just keeping the doors open and creating that great environment. So I'm, I'm just really thankful that this community has shown so much support for, for what I'm doing over here. So, And obviously that support going a long way. Uh, 2023, you were the... Uh, a runner-up for Goshen News Best of the Best Barbershop, and then this year in 2024, you got the honor of being the top barbershop in Goshen News Best of the Best. What's that like for you? What does that mean to be honored with that award? And, uh, you know, how do you foresee that growing your shop and uh, getting more popularity? Um, it's been absolutely amazing. I, I haven't ever won an award, you know, or, or anything like that uh, that wasn't, you know, a big deal, you know, and I'm just so, so, so thankful. Uh, it's been amazing. This, this place wouldn't have existed in Denver. I wouldn't have been able to, to open up a shop in Denver. It was just too much out there. So the fact that I came in here and that, that keeps happening, you know, that this level of support blown away, just blown away. And, um, it just makes me really happy because they're not just supporting this shop. You're supporting my family, you know, and that's the most important thing to me is, is my family. So, yeah, no, I, uh, I really hope that uh, that brought some eyes on to the barbershop to help get more people in here. And just like that, brand new haircut, feel like a new guy getting ready to walk out of the barbershop. Yeah. Sean, once again, really appreciate it, dude. Keep up the great work. you got a great spot. And uh, we're really looking forward to what you got going on in the future. Right, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys coming down. All right, I'm all trimmed up. I feel like a brand new man. Once again, this is Brawley's Barber Den on the corner of Main and Washington Street in downtown Goshen. The 2024 Goshen News Best of the Best Barbershop. Make sure you check them out. Sean Brawley, great guy. Thanks for having us once again. Reporting for Globe News, my name is Colin Eccles. That's going to do it for this episode of the Globe News Report. Make sure to follow The Globe on all of our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, the X app, and YouTube at 91.1 The Globe. And don't forget to download The Globe radio app. Join us next week for The Globe Sports Corner and in two weeks for another rendition of The Globe News Report. For all of us at The Globe, I'm Megan Godzis. And I'm Mackenzie Miller. Thanks for watching.